You want to comment on that, Murray? Well, it's, 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 like, it's like anybody that's got a gasoline engine and puts the additive in to give it more zip. And that's basically what you're doing with the Everglow. You're, you're giving that animal a chance from a natural standpoint to go to work, to go to work and put into the body what the body can actually use, not something <laughs> synthetic that the body can't use. When these units enter into the bloodstream, almost immediately this horse will start getting more oxygen into the system because there's more iron in the bloodstream and as this iron passes through the lungs the horse will start to breathe more and there will be more oxygen going into the into the inner 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 flesh of the horse so what that means is that if you have a sick horse this horse will detoxify and heal that much quicker we also have a unique uh, situation as far as the enzymes go that we put in here the enzymes are basically extracted from growing barley now barley as we know is a natural product one of the big products one of the big problems that we have with a lot of enzymes in the marketplace is that they are derived from mold or fungus compounds and when you start feeding these to horses as single stomach animals, I don't know of an animal other than a chicken besides a horse that is more sensitive to mold than a horse. So when you start feeding, when you start feeding this stuff, what, what you're going to run into when you feed the synthetic enzymes, you're, you're actually going to get a reaction on this horse similar to a, to a mold intoxication. With our product, we have over 25 different known enzymes that we've identified in this, in this extract. And of course, the other thing that we do that is so unique is that we take the roots along with it to get the extract out of the roots. And when we look at the roots, when you think of a seed putting it in the ground, it has to have an immune system. It has to fight off viruses, nematodes, bacteria, fungus, uh, you name it, they're all there. Uh, <clears throat> and when you have this ability to fight this off, one of the unique things about this, about this product is that we, we found initially when I was looking at how I could market this product, um, we know that within 24 hours, barley, barley uh, oh, oh. enzyme extracts will start fermentation like crazy. I'm just here to see what uh, Ivan has to say. When I feed my horses, I always try to have them fed where they look nice and nice hair coating. But when I, it was about 10 days after I started feeding the Everglow, I could really tell a difference. My yearling stallion that I had, he started getting up on his hind legs and tearing around in his box stall. He had never done that before. And also had a, bought a weanling perching colt at Harley's sale. And he was weaned a little early and he was real sluggish. But I could tell a big difference after I started feeding it. So it's working for me. I, that's all I have to say. Thank you, Ivan, and I know you've told me this about your uh, two-year-old Morgan horse that you've been uh, uh, leased out a trainer's got him, the horse is looking. He's been grand champion, Morgan Stallion, and how many different shows? Just one. Just reserved one. For a reserved for a couple. And so you had a Morgan Stallion out there that's been grand champion, has been reserved. The competition is tough in the Morgan business. And he's got him at a trainer that does everything right to a T. And he sends a jug of Everglow down to him. And the trainer tells him back, he says he had seen a huge difference. Now I'd say when you get a superb product, but why would he see such a huge difference? If that horse was healthy, looking good, and all that, you want to comment on that, Murray? Well, it's, 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 like, it's like anybody that's got a gasoline engine and puts the additive in to give it more zip. And that's basically what you're doing with the Everglow. You're, you're giving that animal a chance from a natural standpoint to go to work, to go to work and put into the body what the body can actually use. Not something synthetic to buy. My name is John Story with Storyvale Farms in Sussex. Um, 
breeder and a shower. We raise usually three to five foals a year and we show either a four or six horse hitch. Uh, we've been using the Everglow products for about five years now and we're really happy with the way that the coat that it puts on them and the appetite it gives the horses when we get to the shows we first trucking and everything they're ready ready to eat ready to go when we get there and we're real happy with using it on the foals when they come we find they're eating better and, and just a lot better success with the foals I think it's a, a great product and I think it's a great maintenance program for your food oh, oh. Great maintenance program for the horses. Yeah. Find it um, good for brood mares yes. and breeding horses. Yes, in our breeding breeding program at home, we have our own stallion, and I find the mares. I hope has has to do with because they're cycling good, they're catching good, we're having good luck that way. Yeah. And for traveling, um, a lot of horses don't want to eat or drink. Yes. Uh, especially young ones. Is yeah. that something that's, that's a, helped a, you? Yes, a big, big difference. We give that before before they get on the truck and we find when they get get to the destination they're ready. ready How much do you have to use? We use 10 cc's. <laughs> when they get on? When they get on and then we use 10 cc's a day when they're at, at the fairs. Yeah. And they won't go off? They, nope. Nope. they you know, trouble going off the water? Nope. Or, yeah. Nope. I mean, some shows it's pretty chlorine compared to spring water at home yeah. it doesn't, doesn't seem to bother them at all. Yeah. And any, if you've had any issues with colic or had to use We have, Everglow we've had, for we've colicking? used the Everglow on colic and I really think it, it does help a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if it's a full-blown impaction, I'm sure, I mean, it's, it's not going to cure everything, but I really think with colic that it is a big, a big... Preventative? Problem. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And how about energy levels? Oh, def definitely helps with that. Yeah, yeah. Plus, some of the shows this summer are terrible, terrible hot, but it seems that the horses they, they seem to really have have bought more juice left left in them when at That's the end good. of the day. Yeah. Would yeah. you say more stamina? Yes. Okay. Yes, I would. Yeah. Well, that's. Yeah. That's uh, something that you use every day then? Yes it is, we oh. use it year round. We use a syringe right in the mouth. Man. I want to know that it's going where it's going. I mean, we don't have a hundred horses or anything, we no. only have a dozen and that way it only takes a minute. And just before we feed grain in the evening is when we do it. Wow. They all take it. I haven't had one yet that, that ever give us any trouble. And, and I think they're easier as far as worming and stuff when they're used to getting that squirt in their mouth and they like it. Yeah. Do they come looking for their Everglow? Oh, I think so. Like when you rattle the feed dishes and stuff, they're they are alive. But when they see you coming with the with the syringe of that, their mouth is open. <laughs> is it something you think that you'll continue to use? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yes, it's it's a good product. There's no there's no doubt about it.